AI 12's Maria DeBone joins us live at the police department now. And Maria, you just heard from family members this afternoon. What'd they tell you? Well, family says Ethel was a sweet and caring mother who just loved her children so much. And they said, although there are questions that still need to be answered, what happened is not representative of her. This is the last picture of them. The last picture of them before tragedy. Winston-Salem police found 40-year-old Ethel Steele dead inside her home on Brook Hill Drive Tuesday. Police say she had an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Her three children also died. All three had been shot. Police said there are no suspects and the community is not at risk, but have not classified this as a murder-suicide. The family now left with countless questions. What drove this scene, we don't know. But we ask from the bottom of our hearts, let the police do their jobs. Don't have the rumors going. Family said Ethel was a nurse who cared for her patients along with her children and family. They say she was a single mother who homeschooled her three kids, KJ age 14, Kenya age 12, and Kendra age 9. She took care of what was important. That was her family, her kids making sure that they had everything they needed as best that she could. Ethel's aunt, Wanda Caden, said as they wait to learn more from police, they want the community to know who she truly was. Ethel was a beautiful, well-educated, loving mother, loving sister, loving daughter who took care to the utmost of her children. She has a legacy and it will not be this, calling her a murderer and the things that we read on Facebook, please stop. And Winston-Salem police declined an interview with us about this and said they're still investigating at this time. Live in Winston-Salem tonight, Maria DeBone, WXII 12 News.